Okay, I have been asked a lot, how did you go from being 153 pounds to 20, 120, 119, depending on the day. Okay, this is what I look like. I just had a baby on July 8th, and it is now September 1st. This is no miracle. I was... I ended up having diastational diabetes. This is my second child, second time having this, not my first go around with it. But the first time I did not come out looking like this. So I want to show you what I eat every day, hopefully to stay this small. This is what I eat all the time. Okay. We'll start at breakfast. This is what I have every morning. You do measure this to what the box says. There is a measure in here, I will even prove it, that I have a scoop in this box I use every single day. Let's see. It's a half cup. That's what I eat, a half a cup of this cereal every day. This is vanilla almond milk. I usually have dark chocolate almond milk, but I don't have the container for it either, and I'm almost out. I drink lots and lots of water. And for lunch, I have, these are the only yogurts I eat. I eat only the light and fit yogurts, not the new one with the chocolate on it because that adds 20 calories to it. You take one of these. A five or one bar, break it up, put it in it, mill, good to go. When it, this is another lunch that I have. Peanut butter, the kind you gotta stir up. Unsalted crackers. Yes, I'm still on a restricted diet because of a different problem besides being pregnant. I'm no longer pregnant, as you've seen. You are only allowed to eat five crackers and lightly put peanut butter on it. Lunch, good to go. Bagels, I don't eat those big fat bagels because they are high in carbs. And that's what you gotta watch, is your carb intake. These are 22 carbs. My husband is better at doing all this math. He is the man when it comes to helping me stay under my calories when I was pregnant. I lightly put that on it after I toast it. That could be a lunch. Done with that. Swiss cheese and ham. I have turkey here because that just happened to be what was in the refrigerator. You take one slice of turkey, take your cheese, cut it in half, roll it up, microwave it for about mm, 10 seconds, long enough for the cheese to get nice and warm because that is what you're actually supposed to do with lunch meat. It kills off whatever bacteria is, I don't know. Something they told me in the class I took. I'm not a doctor, I'm just saying. And that is a meal. You wrap it up with a little bit of spinach and it's good. Another meal. Who needs to go to McDonald's? You can make this yourself. Egg McMuffin, pick up some bacon. A slice of cheese. I don't usually eat this one, this kind, but this is what I have today. I usually eat the healthy ones. I think they say healthy on it. This is what my son wanted, so this is what we ended up getting. Throw you an egg in there. I don't use salt because it helps you swell, so cut the salt out. If you noticed, there's not a lot of sugar in this either. There is your egg McMuffin lot better for you than McDonald's. Less butter and all that crap. Okay? Now, whenever it comes to dinner, those are lunches. Done. Each one of those is a single lunch. It's good. Helps you get going. Don't forget, you're drinking lots of water during this, so that helps you stay full. Now, those are the best. You can eat a ton of them without even knowing that you ate them because they are so good. You eat one of these. 
with your mill, but you have to watch what mill you have that with. Because if you notice, carbs, I've cut out a lot of them. That would go with, let's see, your chicken. This chicken right here. If Tyson wanted somebody in their commercial, I would so be willing to be that person because we lived on some Tyson chicken. So much my son hates chicken. This, the rose, pick your vegetables. We eat lots of vegetables. I have a salad with almost every dinner I ever eat anymore. These my son loves, so we get them. And you can have these, they are good. And I put a little bit of this on the chicken just to give it a little bit of flavor, and that's like really good. Fish. There's two different ones of these. I only had this one in the fridge, which is the salmon. They come in individual packs. You cook them up, and you have your vegetables with it. And that's a meal. Whenever it comes to like fajitas and stuff like that, you cut out your carbs. You take Tyson chicken and cook it up with vegetables, which I grabbed the wrong vegetables. These are not the vegetables that I have with this. I usually have green peppers. I'm lazy, so it's all pre-prepared and frozen vegetables. This I would just have as like a side. I wouldn't add it to anything else. You get, uh, what is there, um, green peppers and red peppers all together. Cook it together. And instead of having the fajita bread, you take a piece of lettuce and wrap it like that. And you throw all your toppings and your cheeses and stuff on it and that is how you have your dinner and you can eat all that you want and what's in the big bowl I should have opened it before I started this spinach we eat lots of spinach in this I add that to my salad and I do not eat salad dressing if you ever read a salad dressing bottle it has a lot of carbs and a lot of sugars and stuff that you really don't need so I don't eat it like that. I usually cook that chicken, put a little bit of that honey on it, cut it up, put it in my salad, boom. Chicken salad, low carbs, yes, that's the way you do it. Cut out your sugars, your, a lot of carbs, not a lot of breads. This right here is what I eat my Hamburgers on. Yes, I still eat hamburgers. No, I don't eat french fries. That bread is really good. And you can put, we get lean meat, so that helps you cut down on some of the fats that you don't need. And those buns are really good. That's all I got to say about that. And you can have ice cream on this diet. I did have ice cream when I was pregnant. This is what I had. Weight Watchers. They make all kinds of ice creams. This one just happened to be the one that's in our fridge upstairs. So this is what I got to show you. And when it comes to snack time, this, you have to cut out a lot of stuff. I am a sushi eater. So this gets me over that curve so I don't go run into the store and getting some sushi. I love these. They're only 25 calories for 10 sheets and there's 20 sheets in here. And you can eat a whole thing and not even realize it. These are pretty good. My store no longer carries them so I have to find them somewhere else. These are my snacks. A little bit of popcorn. Don't add salt. Don't add butter. Just air pop. None of that stuff that you get in a bag because it's just got all the bad stuff in it. This is my tea I drink. Love this tea. You can get it at the Japanese restaurants whenever you go. And when it comes to water, if you get sick of it, Mio's. Mio's are the best thing to put in these. I'm always carrying water and it's always different colors. I usually have it red, blue, green. I even had cravings of Kool-Aid. 
I'm not even a Kool-Aid drinker. Found out they make them in like the Mio squeeze. So I had Kool-Aid when I was pregnant. Bonus. And that is about all I eat. All the time now. I am probably 80% vegetarian because we have so many vegetables we eat every day. This is not even half the vegetables that we eat. This just happens to be what I grabbed out the fridge. And I hope this helps on how I became as small as I am in such a quick in such a short time and planning on to maintain this. I don't eat a lot of fruit, that's why it's not on the table because there's a lot of sugars in there. And if I am going to eat a lot of fruit or any fruit throughout the day, I make sure that I get off my butt and work out my butt. Because sitting around, if you eat those sugars, it's going to put the weight on you. I did, I ate all this all the time and didn't exercise one time and I've lost a lot of weight. Probably about 10, 15 pounds of that might have been baby, the baby itself. She ended up weighing 8 pounds, or no, 6 pounds, 12 ounces. She's a big girl now. She's almost 9 pounds. But I just had to show you what I eat all the time because I've, get, I've gotten asked so many times, what do you eat? How do you stay so small? How did you go from the beginning, the end of last school year, which, is, which was May 28th, I want to say, to the first day of school, July 28th, and become a whole different person. This is how I ate this way, and I plan on keeping this as my everyday thing. You got to cut out your McDonald's, cut out your Burger King, all that fast food crap. There's too many sugars in it. The one place that I can say that I ate at the most whenever it came to eating out was. Cracker Barrel. They have a special menu for people on special diets. I was one of those people and they helped me a lot. Salads become your big best friend whenever you are on a restricted diet. So keep eating your vegetables and drinking your water. Oh and if you're a coffee drinker learn how to drink it black. That's how I do it because you can't add sugar and you can't add creamer because if you look at the back of the bottle there's a lot of stuff in that that you don't need. High in carbs, high in sugars you gotta watch those things. And that's all I have. Don't forget to like my video and I'll see you next time. Bye!